I'm Clinton Griffiths with today's Ag Day Minute. We're hearing more from people who were at the grounds of a farm show in rural western Pennsylvania during the attempted assassination of former President Trump. Now, Larissa Ream is a dairy farmer who was at Saturday's rally. She and her family were directly in front of the president's podium when shots rang out. We instantly kind of crouched down. I wouldn't say we ever even fully hit the ground. We just kind of crouched down, kind of checking to see, just because we were so close, checking to make sure that um, the president was okay. Larissa says usually you read about this kind of thing in the history books, but you never expect to witness it. USDA now reporting dairy herds in 13 states are impacted by avian flu. The latest Oklahoma bringing the total to 157 total herds impacted by H5N1. Meanwhile, avian flu is now confirmed in five people working at a poultry farm in northeastern Colorado. It's reported they had mild symptoms. Health officials continue to say the risk to the general public is low. And authorities in southern Italy have confiscated 42 tons of fake olive oil worth nearly a million dollars. Officials say the fake extra virgin variety was being sold as part of an illegal racket. Seven people are accused in the crime. Officials say incidents like this have increased in recent years, due in part to the popularity of the Mediterranean diet. For more Ag News, watch Ag Day weekdays on the station or anytime at agweb.com.